Mum, what are you doing? We said we'd be there at 6.30. Put the snacks bag low. I've got the snack bag. Can we go that. I've just had all this cleaned. Maisie, can you get that off her, please? Oh, let her have it. She's enjoying it. No, Mum, she's going to get it everywhere. <sighs> Mum, do you think I can't see what you're doing? Oh, it's only a bit of chocolate. Yeah, and most of it mm. won't make it into her mouth. Right? You ready to go? Yeah! yeah. 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 Sylvia's mother says Sylvia's busy, too busy to come to the phone. Sylvia is a 1984 Opal Senator, and she's the only car we've ever owned. I bought her with the wages I got from working the tills at Woolworths. So far, she's needed two new cam belts, a carburetor, three sets of tyres, and the midsection of the exhaust replacing. Other than that, she's been perfect. Better than perfect. She's been ours. I don't think the bloke buying it is expecting seeds soaked in blackcurrant squash, is he? I'm just saying it adds character. Yeah, well, thanks. I'll be sure to tell the bloke that. You don't have to sell the car. I'm sure something will work out. When, Mum? When is something going to work out? Because if you haven't realised things haven't been working out for a while, have they? Who likes... Get you, darling. Yeah, just waiting for my ice cream. How much will that be, please? That's uh, four pound eighty, please. Mum, where are we going? I told you, we need to sell the car. But I like this car. What are we going to do without Sylvia? 
I don't know, babe. I don't want to sell her either, but <laughs> we need the money. I have some money in my piggy bank. You can have that. You keep it, sweetheart. You buy something nice with it. No one ever said it would be easy, love. I don't know what I'm doing, Mum. It's OK. None of us do. about keeping the cough clean. That man isn't very friendly. Oh, can you wipe it off, please? Better do this now, eh, Mum? You look like you're having a nice sleep. Look after the kids while I'm gone, yeah? I think you were still coming. Hi. Yeah. Um, sorry, I got a bit lost. I'm, I'm not used to coming around these parts. Do you want to come in for a tea or a coffee or something? No, we better. Uh, I better get going. So that's it, is it? Y yeah. Yeah, that's her. Oh, she's a great car. You know, proper, reliable. And she's great on petrol. Do, do you want to come and have a look? Check she's all OK. You're right, love. I trust you. It's just a run around for my daughter while she's doing her lessons. Well, tell your daughter to look after her, OK? Because that car means a lot to us. Yeah, of course. Well, I guess you uh, want paying on, yeah? Yes, please.
It's all in there. I'll check it if you like. Trust goes both ways, I suppose. I better get going, it's set to rain. That car's given us a lot of happy memories. Please look after him, yeah? Yeah, understood. To the person that gets this car, I just wanted to let you know what a special vehicle you've bought. This car belonged to my mum and I. She passed away February the 25th, 2015 in a house fire along with my six-year-old and two-year-old daughters. The last time we went out in this car together was the day they left me. This car holds a lot of special memories for me. My home and everything in it is gone. And now I'm losing this last link I have with my mum and children through no fault of my own. This car's all I had left to touch. I'm not mad at you. I hope this car is the best car you've ever owned. I hope it runs for a hundred more years. And I hope the back seat is filled with kids and toys and random things. My family filled this car with lots of love and other sticky things. We took road trips, blared 80s and country music and rolled the windows down. I've changed more nappers in the back seat than I can count. There's probably a lollipop or a crayon hidden somewhere that belonged to my baby. Maybe an entire Marmite sandwich. I don't know if you'll see it, but there might be a dirty spot on the dash. My daughter and I would pretend to go on adventures while we sat in the driveway and she'd always put her feet there. The dent on the rear driver's side fender and the dent in the passenger side door are where my daughter learned to ride and crash her bike a few months before her death. I know it's just a car to you, but to me it's so much more. Love, joy and adventure was had in this car, so now that it's yours, please remember it isn't just a car. It's a memory. This car with all its quirks is the last piece of my family. Be nice to it. Play it a country song, she'd like that. Talk to them if you like. I'm sure they'd like to see and hear about any new adventures you take in this car. Dad, I love it. Can we take it for a drive? Of course, love, come on. Oh, by the way, her name is Sylvia. The very first day we got her, we all rode round and Dr. Hook Sylvia's mother came on the radio. The name just kind of stuck when my daughter said that's what we should name the car. So please don't change her name. 
Be blessed. Be happy. Live and love like we did. I wish you and Sylvia all the best. You're riding with angels now. My angels. Thank you.